is Jimmy. Nuclear launch detected. Right on. Hey there, StarCraft fans! It's Falco Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft Brood War Remastered. Today, it's going to be an incredible best of five featuring Flash and a Larva. Game one is here on Fighting Spirit. It's an RJB replay pack sent to me over Discord. Man, RJB is supplying me with so many good replays recently. If you missed some, just go to youtube.com slash Falcon Paladin and you will see. Top left, it's going to be our teal player. He is Terran. It is Flash. And in the bottom left, it is Larva. Man, we love both of these guys so much. Like the happiness that is leaking out of my brain right now. The dopamine that is being received by my dopamine receptors is off the charts. I am so excited to cast this best of five between these two players. I hope you're excited to watch it and enjoy it. And hit that like button if you're excited as I am. And subscribe. Trying to get to 100,000 subscribers in 2024. That is my goal. And I think we're on the way there. So they are, man, they're speaking so much to each other here. They know who each other are because they're not using, well, Larva is using kind of a Smurf name, but it's a well known Smurf name. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, Terror the Overlord Scout now to the correct direction here. Just on blind luck. And what do you do against Flash if you're Zerg? Larva says, hatch first, no worries about proxies done by Flash. Wow. Uh, hmm. If one of my Korean-speaking viewers can translate this, I'll pin your comment. Because, holy smokes, they are jabbering back and forth. So, so, so much. <laughs> yep, hatch first in it. Here about 11 or 12 supply. Barracks coming up inside the main base. Wow. Jabber, jabber. Jibber, jibber, jabber, man. What? Why? What is... Uh... Okay. Is this... Is this a handicap that Flash has imposed on himself? Why? Why would you impose a handicap when you're playing against Larva? Larva can take you down. I don't know. I don't know why, but maybe RJB can clear it up in the comments. Huh. <laughs> no gas, no aggressive lings, no super, super early lair for Larva, like Zealot did against Scan last week. Holy smokes. I titled that video L'Aggression, which is aggression, the aggression in French. It's a cognate. But you already knew that, right? Because, my goodness, was Zealot so aggressive against Scan. And Zealot is aggressive against everybody. Right? Right. Apparently, he only plays Hydra Bus build against Protoss, even if it's Bisu, according to RJB. So, man, Zealot, one-of-a-kind Zerg player, named after a Protoss unit. <laughs> All right, so gas on the way here. No gas here from Flash. Just a one racks expand timing into second racks. Third hatch, well on the way here. In the bottom right hand corner, and both players are, you know, just macroing up. Everything's okay. I think we can live with macroing up at this stage of the game, right? Yeah, I think that's pretty much what we're looking at here today. So the play as Steve the SCV it's being controlled by Flash, so he's a little bit more able to stay alive, but man, eventually... Yeah, okay. There's no there's no escape now. He knows <laughs> the surround and the kill. Got him. Got him good. All right, man. Flash looks like he's going to go SK Terran here. But every Terran player is very capable of swapping over to mech. It's difficult to do. Good Zerg players will kind of see it's happening. We'll scout it out. And we'll say, uh-huh, you're transitioning into mech. It means you're weak right now, and then just come smash you in the face and you die. So you got to keep that in mind if you just want to open up marines and medics and fire bats and stuff and then start making tanks and goliaths and vultures and spider mines is that there's a little window there where you don't quite have enough stuff to deal with the Zerg if they can get in there and shut you down. Just got to be aware. That's all. We've seen it. We've seen it on the channel. We've seen it both ways. Terran's getting away with it, getting into mech and winning the game. 
And then games where, yeah, they went for it and bad things happened really quickly after they started that transition. The Zerg players sniffed it out, man. And that's what scouting is. That's what scouting's all about in StarCraft, is it's figuring out what weaknesses your opponents have. Like, for example, your Lings have speed. The SCB does not have speed because it doesn't exist. All right. So is this going to be a little Marine Medic timing here at about five minutes? Or are we just poking out? Just poking out. Just trying to get that Ling off of the front doorstep. No big deal. Hydralisk Den is on the way. So we went for Lair first, but didn't go into Spire. So no two-base Muta opening. Hiding the Hydra Den down here. Comsat station's on the way. We'll see a scan here in a minute. But what do you scan first if you're Flash? You probably scan the main base of Larva first, right? You scan the main base. Ooh, I love the fire bats out, by the way. Ooh, there's your scan. Okay. Uh, oh, no, he does scan this base, and he sees the Hydra Den. And he sees the creep colony coming up, and he wants that third base so bad. Look at him use the fire bats to keep these lings at bay that are trying to delay his march to this third base. More lings desperately swinging across the map, trying to get in here before these marines do, but it is too late. A couple hiders are out, but that's going to not be enough against this one. I mean, they did kind of overstim themselves a bit. This hydra's got five kills. Holy smokes. Dude, Flash went for it, overstimmed his dudes, outran his medics, got in there, and this Hydra was like, what's up, fools? Five kills on this Hydralisk is bonkers at this stage of the game. I cannot believe that worked. Okay, Larva, for a second there, I thought he was going to lose this third base. I thought he was going to die a terrible, terrible death, but nope, he, he's fine. He's doing great. Factory on the way. Probably just for starport purposes, though, for Flash. And look, if anybody's going to go SK Terran in a TVZ and you feel okay about it, Terran fans, it's Flash, right? He's the one that popularized the build. He's the one that made it look insanely unstoppable and tried to convince every Terran player on Earth to do it against Zerg. And the trick is you keep your science vessels alive, which is hard to do. Even elite Terran players like Light or Last or even players like Royal, who've won an ASL or JYJ recently. They have a hard time keeping uh, science vessels alive against an elite Zerg player, but Flash is like, whew. Flash is a monster at keeping those things alive. At the end of wins, when he's running with SK Terran against Zerg, uh, he'll have like 18 science vessels. He just keeps them alive, keeps them alive, repairs them as they get plagued, right? Dodges, Scourge. Uses Marines to shoot the Scourge down. It's just, it's, it sounds really simple, but it is not. Spire's on the way, and a Hive. I mean, this is like a seven-minute hive a Rooney, Batman. We are looking at a very quick Hive here out of Larva, third base. Maybe recognizing, hmm. I don't know if he knows there's not a third base for Flash, by the way. I mean, this is any sign of a third command center of the production tab? No, not even close. But Lurkers are out. We knew that. We saw Lurker Aspect on the way. Yeah, a Flash can't really do anything about this, can he? He's going to try to bust in, but a Lurker Sunken combo is really good against Marines and Firebats, especially Firebats and Medics. Lings are just... This guy is like... I'm trying to, trying to, trying to hang out here, guys. Any upgrades for these Lings at all? No. No attack. No armor. Nothing's coming in. He's got a hive. A first priority is Defiler Mound. He's getting a couple Scourge out because he's worried about drops. And he's worried about the Science Vessels, which he should be. But uh, Adrenal? I mean, might as well go for your zero, 0 Adrenal, man. So there's your scan. Seeing. Oh, the hive's done. A Defiler Mound is almost done. That's not good. Scans. He's, yeah, he scanned and saw these Lurkers. Oh! Oh! Ho, ho, ho. Oh! Ho, ho, ho. An 11 kill lurker, friends. I'm feeling all right about this for Larva. I know it's Flash, but I just feel like Larva's gotten the better of pretty much every small engagement we've seen in this game so far. Get that third base alive. That was so big. Adrenal is on the way after consume gets started. An understandable decision. I get it. I really do. Getting Dark Swarms up against SK Terran is more important than getting Adrenal. Not that you want to skip Adrenal, but get consumed before you get Adrenal. I'm going to sign off on that. I think that sounds just fine to me. And yeah, this is two base. It's two base, but like, where's the stuff? Here for Flash. He's thrown up Science Vessels. Radiate has not come through the production tab yet. I don't think I missed it, but I could have missed it. Entirely possible. 
Ooh, drops. Okay, okay. So the Scourge see the drops coming in. Scourge. Unloading some Marines prematurely to snipe down the Scourge, but Ling's right in. No, 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 no. Don't land here. Uh, it's kind of working. Man, if these Ling's had Adrenal, they don't. All right, Firebats darting on in here, but Lurker's getting into position. Lurker's body blocking. So no, you can't get behind that mineral line, says Larva. Definitely not. Shuts it down. My gosh, Larva. Yeah, I, I don't want to call this game early, mind you. But Larva has just been rebuffing every single move that Flash has tried to make here today. This one Marine's like, well, I got two kills. He was going to say he had two kills, but then he got murdered before he could finish that thought. Unfortunately, Radiate's on the way now. Yeah, he didn't go super, super fast. Radiate, but man, look at this. Nidus is connecting these bases. He doesn't need a fourth base because Flash is not getting a third base. Yeah, this is it. This is the moment. This game cannot really continue much longer without Flash getting some kind of a major victory of some kind, right? I mean, yes, he's up 49 to 37 total workers. That's fantastic. But his current comp is not great against Dark Swarm, it turns out. He doesn't have any fire bats here at all. He's only got two science vessels. Not like he can radiate every lurker and defiler on the map at this stage of the game. These lurkers moving out. They're moving out. And he's like, well, okay, I guess we'll engage here. Sure. <laughs> let's engage. And Flash. Ah! Flash was like, let's engage. Just kidding. Dark Swarm, sucka. And a radiate on that defiler. He knows. He knows he's going to get irradiated. So he throws up another Dark Swarm further out. Dark Swarms in the middle of the map are a little bit... Yeah. A little bit okay. I mean, uh, a lesser Terran player will definitely run into these Dark Swarms and die. But Flash, there's just no chance of it. Plague's on the way next. Ooh, there's a physics lab on the way. Is Flash trying to go battle cruisers? And he is firing up a third base at the 12 o'clock. It just feels... It feels late. It really does. But Flash continually on the move. He's like a shark when he's out on the map. You just never hold still. Always got to be moving. Always got to be sharking around or you die, right? Because sharks, if they stop swimming, they die. Okay, fourth base coming up here from Larva. And a big attack swinging into this base. I don't know if this can be defended. There are three Marines in a bunker. These are Adrenalings, and there is Dark Swarm. This base is in trouble. This base is in trouble. Kill the SCV building the command center before anything else happens. Got him. Okay, that's a delay on the CC. That is a can that's gotta be a cancel on the CC. That is too much damage output to save it. Yeah, you can kill these lings, but not the lurkers. Uh, canceled. Yeah, okay. Canceled it. Big win. Like I said, I just think Larva's getting the upper hand in every single engagement. Battle cruisers are on the way. The battle cruiser curse is in effect. It's not a not a hundred percent curse. We've seen turns win going battle cruisers in this matchup. Just like the queen curse in TVZ is not a curse. We've seen Zergs win going queens in this matchup as well. It's just not often, right? Not very often. That's all it is. Flash finally gets rid of this lurker. He's going to rebuild his third base, but the fourth base is rolling from Larva. Scourge are waiting for drops to sneak into this third base, and no, not allowed. Battle cruisers, operation, okay, almost operational. Scourge looking for drops. I mean, Larva knows the one thing that can really ruin him in this game is getting dropped and just not being ready for it and losing all of his tech and losing his hive, and that's a game-winning maneuver, right? Kindness plating on the way. Might see some Ultralisks in this game. This third base is so late. It is so late. Scans in, sees what we're dealing with. Sees Lings with 1-1 one, one and Adrenal. More dropships being produced. Five Firebats at a time coming in. He knows that this time, I'm not sure if he sniffed it out, but Larva may be saving gas by not making as many Lurkers, right? Okay, Lings, maybe don't just sack yourselves by running single file into this group of Marines. With two attack and stim and stuff. No dark swarm, but a surround is pretty good. 1-1 one, one Adrenalings with lurker support on your dudes. And a dark swarm, everybody dies. Flash is still up like 40 supply, but that was a wiping. The battle cruise. Oh, plague on. Oh my gosh. Five of the six battle cruisers. Or science vessels. Oh my gosh. 
Okay, well, one BC down, the other one almost extra. Okay. Wait until he. Oh, okay, got him. BC down. Flash trying to unload in here, but there's Dark Swarm and there's Lurkers and. Nope. No, just no. Absolutely not. Drop ships. Fleeing. Ugh, one of them escapes, the other one doesn't. Adrenaline. Okay, no. No, this is just not gonna work. I'm just. What's fun about best of fives that I cast and best of threes is that, you know, like, you can figure out in my macro games that I cast. Gosh. Boxer maneuvering these lings before they can jump on top of the dudes. No Dark Swarm support, no Lurker support. Hydra's wiping out these science vessels, though. Yeah, two of them. Lurker on the ramp. Nope, it dies. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Flash. He might take down this fourth base. This might be the victory that he needs here in game one to win game one all together. These science vessels keep dying. No, Larva, stop trickling units down here. What is this? A drop successfully unloaded inside the main base too. Larva's getting pulled in all sorts of directions. What do I always say about drops? They're so good. Three Ultralisks in production. This game one is simply bananas. Th oh, <laughs> Scourge, no connections at all. Dark Swarm does get up. Not going to save the Sunken. Not going to save the Nidus. Nidus down. No evacuation for these drones. They're trying to evac. How did Flash do this? I almost want to say it's just pure macro. No matter the number of dudes that died for Flash today, he had another army ready to go. These Ultras pop out. They're okay on the upgrades. They've got four armor. But the number of Marines here with plus three attack and stim is just enough. And that's your GG. I, it is. That's it. Bam. Larva taps. Flash wins game one. After I spend the entire game talking about how Larva's got this thing. <laughs> how he's just got it man larva's defending attacking pushing canceling the third base of flash everything's very cool and awesome and then flash is just like nah man look 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 look. i've got a ton of barracks i'm pumping out marines and science vessels I'm sure you might kill all of the science vessels i have on the entire map which i think he did dang larva you got every science vessel in the game but too much stuff. Too much stuff. And this may have just been Larva catching Flash, or the other way around. Flash catching Larva trying to build Ultras, right? There's a window where you want to make Ultras, but you got to save up the money to make the Ultras, and your army values may be a little bit less. Maybe there are fewer Lurkers. Maybe there are a fewer Defilers because you're saving up that gas for Ultras. And Flash just read it, sniffed it out, bam. Did the Battle Cruisers do anything? Not really. But was the battle cruiser curse overcome? Yes. So there you go. <laughs> battle cruisers do not mean an instant loss. Flash proved it so. He's the exception to the rule, though. Wow. Flash game one. <laughs> I I'm beaming. I think you can hear me beaming through the microphone. Flash 95,000 and 94,000. He got out, produced two to one, but killed three to one, basically. Not quite that, but you can see the difference. Seven to one buildings raised. And yeah, a lot of it outspending by, yeah, not by a lot here. Only about uh, 2,000 resources in 17 minutes. Mm. It's not quite enough, is what it is. So that's, man, GG, such a good game one. Like that could, could have just been a standalone VOD, but this is part of a best of five. So who's next? Well, obviously it's Flash and it's Larva, but who will come out on top? I don't know. I haven't watched these in advance. I don't got time for that, but RJB did and said it's a great game and they're all great games, so let's check them out. Game two next. Game two's on ground zero. Top left, Zerg. Top right, Terran. You know where we are. You know who we are as well. Got a lot less chatty once the action started in game one, didn't it? So yeah, ground zero has bases without gas. So many bases without gas. Four mineral only bases to expand to. But to make up for it, it's a four-player map, right? So spawn locations and expansions do have gas, and then a third base with gas. Hmm. So if you're playing 2v2, this is a hotly contested third base, right? 
Chitter chatter. Let's get at her. <laughs> All right, guys. Are we talking about the last game? I don't know. I don't speak Korean. Anyway, man, check out RJB. He sent me these replays. He provides so, so many replays to this channel. YouTube.com slash at RJB underscore TV. How do we mix it up? If you're Larva. Maybe an overpool opening? We'll have to see. Scouting the wrong direction this time is Terra the Overlord. Nope. No overpool. Wait, maybe. There's still time. There's still time for an overpool, but I feel like it's going to be a hatch first here from Larva. Barracks coming up inside the main base for Flash. Just knowing that this is Flash's SCV makes it epic, right? Flash's SCVs build at like 2% faster than other Terrans. There you go. Hatch first in it. Into Extractor this time. Okay, so we're planning a little bit of aggression here. Either with Speedlings or Mutalisks, I feel. Got ourselves a 10 pool. Oh my gosh, you guys. Seriously, <laughs> what is going on here? <laughs> you guys are so... So talkative. Like, if you guys were in a 10th grade math class, you'd both get detention for talking so much to each other. Anyway, oh, it's a fast factory. Let's go. Flash getting a fast fact. Let's do this thing. Come on, Mac. Come on, Mac. Every Terran fan, chant with me. Mac, 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 Mac. Flash's Mac is so good. I mean, everyone's Mac is pretty good, but like, Flash's Mac, come on. So this is going to be a game where we see a creep come up early because a sunken at the front is a good way to deal with early vulture pressure, especially if they're slow, which, yeah, you're going to send a soul vulture across in this situation for sure. Uh, there we go. Lair and metabolic boost not too far apart from each other with this early gas opening. Allows you to get both of those things happening. Three sets of lings on the way. This does feel aggressive, but look at this marine. I am a marine. I am perched on the high ground. I will kill any zerglings that show up. Yeah, good luck with that guy. I'll probably kill one of them, but killing six of them is going to be tough here. All right, lings coming across the map. SCV dies, but sees the number of lings that are out. Larva. Spam, 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 spam. I don't know what's going on here. Thing is, he doesn't know where Flash is, so these are just scoutinglings. The main force guessed incorrectly, headed down that way, and hey, look what we found. Well, all right, guess we'll get a scout off. Seize the vulture, beautifully scouted. Zergling, you died, but your information is important. You there, creep, 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 come on. Does he feel like he doesn't need to creep? He feels like he can handle this vulture with his speedlings. Ooh, look at speed coming in fast for this vulture. He's like, these are speedlings. I need speed to counter the speed. Right you are, Barry. Um, okay. Well, the lings are in the house. Uh, it's gonna be... Sniping an SCV that was building a, sec a starport. And then the rest of it is... A couple SCVs die inside the mineral line, and then the vulture shut everything down. The starport has been scouted. There's your creep at the front. He's like, well, once the vultures don't have to worry about these lings anymore, they're going to come for me. And they have the speed upgrade, so this might actually be really dicey. <gasps> but they don't know where the Zerg is either. Oh, this is really nice for Larva. Like, really nice for Larva. Here come the vultures. You can make it past this. Make it past. Oh, the lings are blocking the ramp, though. Get behind the... Get over here. Look at these lings, though. He's going for it. He's in. He... Okay, he doesn't like it. He doesn't like what he sees. Sunken does get a vulture on the way out. That sucks. Losing that vulture, not what he wanted to do. Control tower says... Maybe a dropship? Maybe a cloaked wraith opening. Usually that's two-port wraith, right? I guess it's on the way. Mutalisks. 
Like I said, speedlings and mutas are the play here from Larva in game numero dos. Armory coming in, because guess what we're going to need against Mutalisks? Come on, Flash. Oh, it's English. This time, Larva decided to help us out a little bit. Man, if there was a plugin I could install to translate Korean into English when players are chatting in replays, I would pay like 100 bucks for that. That would be awesome. Not that we get a lot of chitter chatter, but in, man, stuff like this. Oh, of course it's a Valkyrie. My brain just forgets that Valkyries exist sometimes because they're so rare. How about you not build a turret, say the Mutalists? How about you not mine minerals, say the Mutalists? Oh my gosh, the SCB murder rate is through the roof here. No, you can't build a turret either, sorry. Absolutely not. Oh, they let him know. Just kidding, he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> so, Goliaths are here, and the Valkyrie is what's most important in this situation. Designed in a laboratory specifically to kill Mutalisks. That's what Valkyries are. It's fun, because most units in StarCraft were not designed specifically to kill something. Right? Right? Most units in StarCraft have multiple purposes. But the Valkyrie was specifically designed because in StarCraft 1, Mass Muta was impossible for Terran to stop. There's nothing they could do. Goliaths didn't have Charon boost. Marines had no medics. Like, it was a dark time for Terrans back in 98, between, like, March and November or October of that year. It wasn't that long. All right, going to try to use the Scourge to knock down the Valks. And so when Brood War came about, a big big focus of Brood War was one, invisible units as, ooh, Valkyrie does go down but Mutas are dying too here, only four of them remaining. SCV count is not good. It is not good. There are 12 SCVs to 22 drones right now. For Mutas. You have, you have any turrets yet? Flash, flash, kind of? Okay. Well, I don't know if this is a tenable position. I don't know if you can come back from this. 24 to 10, worker discrepancy with a Zerg player on top of you. Uh, no, it's not going to work. Anyway, Brood War was about invisible units, lurkers, and dark Templars, right? And then stuff to counter mutas. That was basically it. The Devourer was designed to help with muta versus muta, but more to help with cap ships and stuff. But the Valkyrie and the Corsair were designed specifically in a laboratory to do splash damage against clumped up air units. What clumped up air units are we talking about here? The Muta. That's it, man. So another fast hive, like really fast hive. How are these lings engaging here? Got a death wish, I guess. Look at this, 26 to 14 workers. Dude, is Larva going to try to win this game with Adrenal Lings? Why do I feel like that's what he's going to try to do? Remember what I said about this third base being very coveted? Well, look at that. It is. It is coveted. And a fourth base, too. <gasps> Larva says, when you're ahead, get more ahead. Day 9 taught me that. Way, way, way back when he was doing Day 9 dailies. In like 2000, and when was I watching his Day 9 dailies? 07, 08. Back when he was on, like, was it blip.tv? Early, early streaming sites before Twitch was a thing. Anyway, Day9 might come back to StarCraft. He said he would once the CEO of Activision was gone, Bobby Kotick. And he's gone. He stepped down in December, so I don't know. I kind of want to, like, tweet at him and see. Okay, Flash getting down here, getting a scout off is nice. I mean, these val vultures are not getting home, but that's okay. They're fine with that. They've, well, this one has not accepted his lot. He's getting out of here. Adrenal. Ultralisk Cavern. This is almost crazy ultra build, isn't it? Almost. But yeah. Day9 said, look, if you're ahead, you can either try to kill... And that's it. GG. Flash taps and Larva gets the win in game two. Yeah, he's just too far behind. He's like, I'm behind, gonna be behind four bases to two in a second here. My economy is garbage. I just, the mutas showed up too early for me to deal with them. My turrets were a little bit late, just a tiny bit late. The Valkyries didn't do what they needed to do. The connections with the Scourge were okay. 
And the muters just got too much time, too much personal, intimate time with my SCVs. And that's, nope, that's not going to work. And by golly, did it not work. Not even close. So GG, man. Game two goes to Larva. Oh, and I f oh, forgot that Flash killed one of his own SCVs in game one and still won that game. What a madman. Like, what an absolutely crazy person he is. Oh. Uh all right. Well, my goodness. Yeah, that's um if you try to open mech and you don't get turrets up in time, the mutas kind of ruin you. That's the story. Twenty-four thousand to eighteen thousand points here. Larva gets the win. Out producing the Terran player and the kill ratio is about the same, which is really bad. Really bad. If you got out produced that much. And out look, look at this number. He outspent Flash by 2,000 plus resources in this game, which was 10 minutes. And only outspent Flash by 2,000 resources in the last game, which was 19 minutes. That's the difference between a win and a loss. Economy. Economy. All right, game three coming up, tied 1-1. Ooh, it's like we're starting over from scratch. Hit that like button if you haven't already. Game three is on Overwatch, top left. It's going to be a red zerg. It is Larva, bottom right. It is Flash. Woo. These games have been great so far, man. Overwatch, kind of a weird map. It's two players. We got ramps leading up to every single expansion you could ever want, except for the middle ones, because there is high ground in the middle ones, right? <laughs> Lurkers up on the high ground, Dragoons up on the high ground, Tanks up on the high ground. These bases are so hard to hold, but because it is a two-player map, there are fairly few places to expand, right? This is a full sentence, man. Are you gloating? Are you gloating about your victory in game two? Slurk. This is Flash. I don't, e I don't even know. <laughs> I kind of hope that was just a typo or something. I don't know, man. I don't know what we're doing here. Hmm, walling off low. Interesting idea on this map. <gasps> It is a pool. It is a pool first play. Okay, so this is a race against time now. Can we wall off entirely before the lings show up? The answer is absolutely, right? Barracks are big and chunky. I think he's got it. This, uh, this feel like a build order loss. Ooh, extractor tricking to get 10 out of nine supply here too. Is Larva, this is an aggressive build, SCV says. Well, we should check for aggression. 100% should check for aggression. Barracks getting constructed by SCV number two. Oh, and he NG Bay blocks down here. All right. Flash is like, hold on a second. Oh, the delay. The delay. All right, man. Three sets of lings in production, heading on out. I don't know if Flash thinks he just stopped a hatch first play out of Larva. But see, that's why you see. You, there you go. You see the lings coming down now, and you're like, okay. Uh, oh, there, he's already got the hard wall. So second base up here for Larva. Hard wall here. He's going to have to do some repairing. Yeah, because this marine is on the way. And it doesn't take forever to build a marine, but it's enough time to where you want to get some repairing done. Yeah, I mean, you might as well hack away at these supply depots. Not much else to do with your lings at this stage of the game. Pulls back the lings as they get close to death. A lot of lost mining time here and a lot of lost resources too. Because it does cost minerals to repair these supply depots. And yeah, now two marines show up in this wall. Enough. Enough. Larva takes his uh, second base. That's the third base. Finally gas is on the way from the Zerg player. Flash is just expanding behind this. He's not getting gas either. So no sign of aggression from him. He's just going to sit here. Behind two bases for the time being. The Lings are like, well, I uh, guess what we can do now is scout stuff. 
so we're going to scout stuff. Maybe kill an SCV or two that is braving it out here in the wilderness of Overwatch. The drone's like, you're not getting inside our main base. I'm sorry. Absolutely not. I'll block that ramp with my chunky body if it kills me. All right, neat. Guess what? Second barracks on the way from Flash. Because he doesn't have any gas yet. What else is he going to build at this stage of the game, yeah? Yeah. But like I said, good map for lurkers, good map for tanks. Bunch of high ground you can deal with, too. Even if you're not directly harassing this base. You can high ground lurkers up here, high ground tanks up here. Super annoying to deal with. But I don't know. Flash hasn't made any tanks in the series so far. It's only two games in. This is the third, but still... Maybe he has a bit of an aversion to tanks, but mixing it up is a good way to win. In a situation like this where you're in a best of series, especially when you're tied up, right? Doing the same thing. Although, come on, game two is not the same thing as game one. Not even close. He was trying to mech and uh, it did not go well. I don't know if he was trying to mech or just trying to get Valkyries out to counter the two base muta opening that Larva went for. Hard to tell. Holy early burrow, Batman. Larva's going for early burrow. His lair's coming in. Metabolic boost on the way. Nothing too crazy. Academy almost up. Consat near and dear to our future. There you go. Second base. Extractor up. Inspire. All right. So we're going to get some mutas here. Everybody knows the power of TBZ and mutalisks. Bit of a move out here from our guy Flash. This is what these lings are here to see. Like, ah, oh, this is happening. A move out, eh? Well, I can make Sunkins with the best of them. Or, who, oh my gosh, who needs Sunkins when you can Lurker Trap the heck? Oh my gosh gosh. Oh my gosh. Burrow Trap. It wasn't a Lurker Trap. I misspoke, but it was a Burrow Trap. Dude, are you kidding me? Oh, <laughs> Larva. I love you. That was so cool. Burrow Trap. Burrow Trap. <laughs> Does it again? Scan, seize, Hydroden, seize, Spire further along than Hydroden. Says, turret timing is soon, but not yet. Dude, the burrow trap. The burrow trap on the bridge. Uh, the fast burrow. Every Zerg player is just like absolutely out of their minds having a good time with this game. Some of them have woken up unconscious, having fallen out of their chairs with excitement at how cool that was. Flash is unperturbed. He's like, you know, it's fine. <laughs> Larva says, I've got 380 APM. Do you mind if I use some of it up here dancing for you? Burrow dancing with my lings? Scans, checks the gas. These mutas are already out. Says turrets are already up. We're good. This is Flash. Turrets are coming up inside the main base too. Lurker aspect on the way. Third gas rolling from Larva. I just feel as though that early crushing is going to make it so hard for Flash to win this game. Although game one was not kind of nothing but... Flash getting his early attacks crushed by Larva, and then Flash won anyway. So, like, this is Falcon shrugging. You can't see that, but I'm definitely shrugging right now. Because it's... It's just Flash. Just Larva does that to any other Terran player on Earth, and he wins game one. But Flash's macro is so out of this world crazy good. Okay, but this Muta stuff, though, is way too cost-effective. No Mutas have died yet. So that seems bad. Two kills, two kills, four kills, one kill. Get on everybody else's level one kill Muta. Okay, there might be more than one one kill Muta list here. Burrow unload! Ugh! It's not even an unload, but dude! Dude! 
<laughs> These medics are dying by the dozens. It's not the dozens, but that's it. There are no medics for Flash here. This is... Oof. Oof, 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 oof. What do we got? Well, double starport coming in. Flash has not been able to really get within sniffing distance of any of these hatcheries of larva today, and that is not good. Look at this guy dancing. Okay, now there's lurkers on the ramp, and he knows there's lurkers on the ramp. And he says, okay, can't do that. Maybe I swing around the south side. Try to get something done this way. More hydros, more... Oh, the lurkers. Okay. All right. No, that was a lurker trap. And then Larva says, we go for it. Yeah, medics getting target fired in particular. Understandably so. Muta's getting dragged into bunker range. is not what they want to do, so they pull back. Lurker's just out of bunker range doing great. And, uh, yep. I, um... So, I mean, it's 46 to 31 workers here from Flash. He's got the economy. He's also supply blocked. Okay, it's 74 out of 75 available, but that is as close to supply blocked as you can get without being supply blocked. Mutas don't have any upgrades. Do not, I don't know. Uh, contain, honestly, yeah. Contain, 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 contain. Guess who's making dropships? Not science vessels. Okay, turret wiped. Couple mutas die for it. Muta flock, not humongous, but you know, nine mutas is good. Scans the main, sees there's a defiler mound popping right now, and says, ah. Grumble, grumble, grumble. Zerg is overpowered. Grumble, grumble. All right, siege mode's on the way. To bust this, yeah, it's gonna be a lot of irradiates, or it's gonna be siege tanks. And Flash decided it's gonna be siege tanks. So let's bring some tanks out. Let's get them siege mode. Let's bust out here. Let's send dropships up this right side, which out of vision of that overlord. Mm, you gotta be careful with that, man. Oh, but see, there are burrowedlings here scouting it. And so the mutas are like, okay, we'll just go intercept this real fast. Yeah, Larva is in complete control of this game. If Flash wins this, I'm gonna be surprised. But I was surprised by the Flash win in game one already. So, huh. So he unloads early so as not to get sniped by something. And then kind of heads back down? What the heck is this? I don't know where Flash is going. He's just happy to be out on the map for the first time today. I mean, okay, he basically got across the map when that burrow ling trap sniped him. So that was nice, but... All right, I'm kill some overlords. Yeah, take that, Larva. Oh, the Dark Swarm is up, but the Siege Tank is here. I don't know about this. I don't know about this for Flash, you guys. I'm looking at it. I'm staring at it. This front door is just a nightmare. This group is more alive than I thought they were. I thought they'd be at this stage of the game. I mean, they've got stim, they've got range, they have 1-1. One, one. Nobody to mess around with. Siege tank count, healthy. Okay, can we scan ahead? No, we didn't. Check to make sure there wasn't a base here. That's good information to have. He's gonna get lurker trapped. If, he, if lurker just surprised lurkered. If he goes across that bridge, man. Swarming in. Dark swarm up. Lurkers. Mutas. Lings trying to kill these tanks. Forcing them into unsiege anyway. This game is scrap-tacular. Lurk. Okay. All right. Flash has to lift off his natural base. SCVs are fleeing for their lives. Getting lurkers spined right through the throat. Ugh, that's a bad way to die. Lurker spine coming up through the ground. Impaling you from the undercarriage up through your head, man. Why are you bringing SCVs back into this mess? Don't do that. 
Like the Dark Swarm was gonna wear off, I swear. And then it, did. okay, this game's over. This game's over. Science Vessel gets wiped out by Scourge. This group is still running around like they own the place. Might be it for them though. All the Mutas want to die, but no, not allowed to die. Lurkers busting out of there with the siege tank, the one siege tank that exists right now. Somehow it's still 38 to 30 workers. Somehow Flash is still up in economy despite being on one base. Probably land your second base now. There you go. Okay, Adrenal coming in, further attack upgrades for the Lings. By further, I mean their first attack upgrade here in game three. I'm telling you, if this was any other Terran player in the world, I'd be like, yeah, Larva's got this. He's got it. It's easy. But this is Flash we're talking about. These are Lurkers without Dark Swarm support. Scourge wiping out a Science Vessel. Lings without Adrenal considering engaging. Nope, fall back to the bridge. Fall back to the choke the Marines do not want to engage with. They never have and they never will. Adrenal is done. Scan says, is there a base there still? No? Great. Good news for me. I probably would have killed it if it was there anyway, though. That's how Flash thinks. He's checking this base to see if there's a base here. No, that's also good for me, he says. 38 to 38 workers. Larva has been droning up a bit here, trying to keep up. I mean, even worker count for the Zerg player is actually pretty fantastic. Plague would be massive. It's, all, it's not almost done. It's on the way. Okay, Adrenalings, Lurkers, and Dark Swarm. And Flash says, okay, okay. Calm it down. Nothing to worry about here. Ten sets of Lings in production. Two science vessels at a time being produced. Further upgrades to the Marines. They've got one one they're working on, too, too. Oh, that Dark Swarm placement and timing was disgusting. So good. Siege tanks have to unsiege, and unsiege tanks are just... Lings are not afraid anymore. You hear that? I'm not afraid anymore. I think it's you hear me is what the line is. But look at Flash. He's got numerous, numerous Marines running around. Look at him. I'm gonna Dark Swarm this tank. And bam. Tank down. So Flash is up. 125 to 100. Worker count is even. Larva trying to take a fourth base down this bottom left. Bit of a ninja, but that gets scouted by Flash and obliterated very easily. Okay, Plague. Ooh, catching a huge group of bio there. For Flash. Lings running around like crazy people. Ultralisk Cavern exists. Kindness plating is on the way. Defiler got irradiated and died. That was the sound of an irradiated Defiler dying. In case you're not familiar with that sound, you probably are. And all these guys are plagued. Oh, okay, the follow-up to the plague is scarier than the plague. Okay, so now it's um, 91 and 92 supply. Larva feeling much better about the situation. Burrowed lings, making sure that a flash gets a base. We know about it. This overlord perching over here, too, doing the same thing. Scans, sees a million lings, scans up here, sees a million lings and lurkers, and there's just kind of zerg everywhere right now, which is not ideal. Oh, the plague catches every one of the five science vessels on the field. Rest in pepperoni. You guys, I'm sorry. This is not looking good for science vessels in this game. That one mutilisk is still alive somewhere. He's waiting. He's biding his time. He's like Jaws. Dude. Top right base trying to be taken here by Larva, but... This top right corner is completely controlled by Flash. So... I don't know if that's coming up. Yeah, see this? Flash is like, yeah, no. This is my zone. Where's the one Mutalisk who still exists in this game? Did he die? He was kept alive for a specific purpose. Oh, that's a good Dark Swarm. Better up here. I forces a cancel. Dude, Flash is scratching and clawing his way to a victory here. I'm not saying he has it won because he does not. 
But killing this base was a huge step in the right direction. Killing this base was a huge step in the right direction. Did this recently die? Or is it just because it's in the fog of war that that hasn't cleared up yet? Nope. I guess there was another attempt. Maybe that has lasted a lot longer than I thought it does. You defiler! Plague this group. There we go. Massive plague on that group. I don't know what just died here, but something just died here. Okay, well, medics are draining every little bit of energy they've got left, trying to keep these marines alive while they have active plague on them. Trying to bust up this left side. Flash is like, I will kill your fourth base wherever it is. And the firebats are like, you better bet we will. Look at this firebat stuff. Dude, no way. There is just not a universe in which Flash wins this game. Okay, Ultras are out. You're a little bit heavy on the Firebat stuff, but this left, this base dies. Again. Third base of Flash is rolling. But it's 126 to 103 supply. The Ultralisks are out. The Plague has been, oh my gosh. The Ultralisk with the Irradiate on the Plague and more Irradiate on the Ultralisks. But there's not enough to defend the third base from this not even close. I think. Yeah, I think that's it. Flash is like, oh, okay. All right. You had too much economy for too long. You never had a fourth base, which is good for me. But also, your three bases against my two bases. It's going all right. GG! Flash taps out. Bam, sucker! And Larva gets the win in the pivotal game three of the series. Woof! That was incredible. Yeah, it's the pressure, right? It was the pressure in this game. The burrowling trap. Bam. The other Burrowling Trap, the Burrow Lurker Trap down here, the Lurker setting up the contain, the third base of Flash was ultra late and never really mattered in the long term. Flash was stuck on two bases. He had to lift his second base for a good long time. And yeah, he did his best to make sure a fourth base never existed for Larva today. To his credit, Larva tried expanding here and here and here. This died twice. This probably died twice. This died once. Flash was like, no, 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 no. You don't get a fourth base if I don't get a third base. And Larva's like, dude, leave me alone. But yeah, it was just too much time. Larva had that economic advantage, too much that third base, really allowing him with the 38 workers to get up to the ultras, to get up to the upgrades the ultras wanted. That six armor against these marines is so good. And uh, yeah, just the, the final swarm. Look at how many science vessels there are. Did he repair those science? He must have repaired the science vessels that all got plagued earlier in this game. There's no way he had five, and then he also had 11 later. Like, the five died, and he just had 11 other ones. I don't think there's any way that's possible, but... Burrow's a good unit, you guys. Early Burrow is pretty fantastic, even against Flash. 119, 104,000 points. Outproducing... The Zerg outproduced the Terran player today and outkilled him. That's not good if you're Flash. It's great if you're Larva. Then the outspend in this game in 20 minutes was, yep, 8,000, a little bit less than 8,000 resources, and that's what you want if you're going to beat somebody as good as Flash is. So, bam, sucka, GG, let's move to game number four. Can Flash force the game five, or is that it? Will Larva win this thing in a moderately surprising 3-1? I don't know. Let's find out who wins this next game. Could be the end of it. There could be more afterwards. I will tell you this much. I will put anti-spoiler content at the end of this video. If this is not a five-game series and it's only four games, so you can't tell based on the length of the video who won. Ha 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 ha. All right. Let's go to game four. Game four, we're back on Overwatch. Same spawn locations, but a bit of a different color situation here. Top left, it's our blue Zerg larva. Bottom right, our white Terran Flash. According to the date on these replay files, this was from 2019, in case you were wondering. Flash is not active currently in the Brood War scene, but maybe he'll come back. He was kind of caught up in a, uh, a crypto scam a couple of years ago. 
But I don't know. I think you can come back from that, right? Flash is beloved by StarCraft fans. So what are you doing, Mr. SCV? Hmm, are we going to proxy open here? Down two to one in this best of five? We will have to see, won't we? Man, I love this track. It's not... It gets there, right? But I kind of like this early little... And there it is. There's your proxy racks. This little bit of atmospheric start is so nice, man. And the drone scout, dude. Look at how seriously he's extractor tricking. Drone scouting. Second overlord producing. This is such a good drone scout from Larva. He's like, okay, so nothing crazy yet, but where's your barracks? No barracks, no gas, no command center coming up. Nothing. Okay. Uh, he started this pool before, but I think he had an inkling. He had a suspicion what was going on here, right? Either way, a hatch first in the situation, based on what has been scouted here, is suicide. Yeah, barracks, second barracks coming up inside the main base. This drone is like, oh yeah? Okay, well I'm dead, never mind. And SCV coming in, drone coming down to see what's going on. A bunker production would be pretty good here for Flash. Is he going to get it? He is. He's throwing the bunker up. Man, this is aggression at 11 right now out of 10. Hatchery comes down. And the drones are pulled. Here come the boys. Do not let this finish, say the drones. Our job is to make sure this never finishes. We are fast. We are faster. Wow. We are faster than Marines are. And we hit them pretty hard, too. Okay. Killing the SCV means we're good, right? That just completely shut this whole thing down. No bunker means that slowlings are going to be okay at keeping the marines away from this hatchery and everything's all right so yeah he had to use the scv to body block for the marines but then the scv died and it was like oh well all right shut it down boys and yeah what i said about the spoiler screen earlier was like you know if this game was over in three minutes you wouldn't know it because this vod you're watching on youtube right now would continue for another like 30 minutes so I'm just saying, don't look at how much time is left here to determine who wins this game. Because, you know, all that time could be another game, or it could just be fodder that I toss tossed in there. Just to make you think there was another game. <laughs> but I'll, you know, if it is fodder, I'll make it something you want to watch, I guess. Maybe another Flash Larva game I've cast previously. Anyway, yeah, the Link's come in from a nice angle. Good micro from Flash, though. Really making some decent trades here, which to be expected against Slowlings. Slowlings are kind of garbage units, right? Why is there another SEV here for body blocking purposes, I guess? Dude, one sunken would really shut this whole thing down. But, okay, we're going to build a bunker. I, sort of? No, we're not. Come on. Yeah, no. No, absolutely no. I don't know why Flash is trying this other than... Just for the sake of saying, I'm Flash. Nope. That bunker was very close to completing, but close only counts as in horseshoes and hand grenades. As my grandpa used to say, rest in peace, grandpa. Died back in 2012. I do miss him. He was a great guy. Always busy doing something. He was a fixer-upper kind of a dude. Fixing up stuff around the house, fixing up cars, fixing cars for his kids and his grandkids. Aw, I miss you, Grandpa Jim. And everybody loved him, too. He was just one of the better, better men I've ever known. Anyway, I'm going to get too sad if I talk about him some more. So, Zergling, sharking around down here. They're like, hey, you want a second base? How about no? How about you don't get a second base? These lings, oh, look at these lings. These lings are like... We're not here. It's just it's only five lings down there. You can come clear them out, and then bam, they get jumped on and die. Macro hatch. Interesting. Lair getting started at the second base, which the SCV scouts. 
Yeah, just, you know what? Better safe than sorry. Build a command center inside the main base if you're Flash. I think that sounds fine. Not gonna worry about it. This SCV is having a great time. And by the way, this is not Steve the SCV, because Steve the SCV died early, but check out Steve the SCV merchandise at falconpaladin.store. There are mugs with Steve the SCV on it. There are shirts with Steve on it. There's also Terror the Overlord merchandise, Robert the Zealot stuff, if you're interested in more Protoss side of things. If you want Protoss merch and you're watching a TVZ, you're probably just a Falcon Paladin fan or a Brood War fan. Most likely that's what's going on here. So, Academy coming in effectively on one base here is Flash. And Lings are like, nah, you know what? That's a big enough group of Marines. Let's... It's like one to one. It's not exactly out. Not exactly ideal situation if you're gonna be a Zerling, right? So, just, you know, they're being threatening. They're just here to cause problems. Just here to make Flash worry about what else could be happening here. Spire on the way. Anybody, anybody who's surprised by that, raise your hand. I don't see anybody raising their hand because, yeah, based on this opening, Ling's no speed, right? Delaying that speed a bunch. It allows you to get your Spire out faster. Just simple economics is what it is. Stim getting researched. First upgrade on the Academy for Flash. No sign of a factory yet. But he's working on that plus one attack on an NG Bay. This feels like maybe a plus one attack timing in his back pocket here, trying to get in there and shut down the Zerg advantage of having a second base way before the second base of Flash was able to come up. Which is just like, bleh. it hurts. It really hurts. That this was so late for Flash. And I said that in game one and he won the game. And then I said that in game two and he lost the game. So even Flash is not invulnerable. Nobody is. Aww, this is so annoying. This is so annoying. Ling sneaking around through this back way. Forcing Flash to come back with his Marines and his medics. Forcing a stim out of them. Eight Mutalisks in production from Larva. Turret production happening. Thank goodness, safe Flash fans everywhere. Range for Marines coming in after the stim is now done. This guy doing a bit of a jitterbug. 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 Boom, boom, ba da da boom. Ba da da boom, 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 ba da da boom. You know what's funny is that song for me is most associated with Zoolander, the 2001 movie, with Owen Wilson and uh, Ben Stiller and, and like Will Ferrell. My gosh, I love that movie so much. It did not do well, actually. It released after 9 11, and Americans weren't like, what I want in my life is a comedy right now. So it didn't do well in the box office, but I think it's, you know, a bit of a cult classic. It is very much a dumb, funny movie, like Dumb and Dumber, for example. Very much modeled after the uh, the humor in Dumb and Dumber. And just, I don't know, Owen Wilson and Ben Stiller are funny. Will Ferrell is funny. There's a lot of funny in that movie. Anyway, Zoolander, movie recommendation from Falcon, The Old Man. Recommending a movie from 23 years ago, almost 23 years ago now. Come on, dude. Anyway, StarCraft is happening. Lur Lurker Lita aspect is on the way. Harva's aggression today? I guess game one is maybe the game in which he was the least aggressive and the game that he has lost, so... Aggression is good, I guess, is what the lesson... Falcon is trying to impart upon you from this series. But Larva is just a beast. He just is. He's a lot of people's favorite player. I get requests for Larva replays maybe more than anything else. I mean, look, I definitely get Flash requests too, but I honestly think more people are like, more Larva replays, please. Because he's just so fun. Got an 11 Muta stack here. He needs to pull this guy out. I should ask, there's no way that Flash is able to target fire the Muta that has 22 HP, right? Like, these are stacked. You can't... 
You can't. You can't right click on the one that has no HP. If you get lucky, you can probably snipe it, but and that's probably what happens sometimes, right? Is that you're doing the muta stack thing, you're coming in, you're taking some hits because the range for the Marines is done. Oh, this third base though. So this third base is dead. I know I said that in game one and the third base actually wasn't dead, but this feels a lot worse. Hey, this group gets wiped out thanks to the support of some Zerglings. And yeah, okay, this was... Uh, lurkers trying to save the hatch with their spines. Not even close, but these guys are sort of trapped in here. So... I don't know. Is it worth it to kill, like, 15 Marines and 4 Medics for that hatch? That's a tough equation. I don't know. I really don't know. Third base gets immediately replanted by Larva. Science vessels are on the way. Plus one attack is done for the Marines. We knew that was the case. These Mutas, do they have any upgrades at all? The Lings are 0-0 zero, zero with speed. Scan inside the main base reveals. There's, I mean, he doesn't see anything he doesn't know except for the fact that there's a Queen's Nest. The Hive is done again. The Mutas were not giving given any attack or armor upgrades. Lurkers on the bridge. Totally overpowered and suck. Ow, ow. Mutas wander in here. Take a few free turret hits. Then wipe out both turrets before evacuating after the Marine response. Just kidding. Evacuating is for the weak. And the Mutas dive bomb into this mineral line. Trying to fight... Whatever they can, right? Oh, this group oh, tried, ow, tried to deal with the lurkers on the bridge, but then there were more lurkers. So not ideal, I would say. Mutas fall back a little bit. Adrenal's on the way. Consume is on the way. Nidus Canal is on the way to toss at the third base as soon as Nidusly possible. All right, 1-1 one, one for the Marines, plus range, plus medic support, plus science vessels. Plus irradiate. We're there. We have everything we need in order to win this game. Flash sets. Million barracks. Two starports. Pump and science vessels. We gotta get in here before Dark Swarm shows up. We'll probably get in here before Plague shows up, right? Dark Swarm first. Well, consume first. Plague second. He sees Lurkers and Sunkins here at the front. Dude, that consume is almost done. The timing on these upgrades, you guys. All right. It has to jump on it without Dark Swarm. And it goes extremely well. Okay. Who needs Dark Swarm? Ah, Muta's chasing down Science Vessels. This last medic gets absolutely eviscerated by Sunken Ling combination. I thought for sure Dark Swarm was going to have to save this, but no. Larva's like, meh. It's okay. We got a bunch of lings. They have Adrenal with one carapace and no attack upgrades. Hilariously. Science facility up scouting. And a third CC in production. Going to try to land over here, but this is really Zerg infested at the moment. Oh, fourth base. Man, what did we learn about fourth bases and Larva in this series? It's just not allowed. Not even remotely close to allowed here. Let me keep the... They left the drone alive. That is not very Flash-esque. Mutas are like, you know what? Sniping the science facility seems real good to us. The Radiates trying to save the science facility, but no, you're not. Science facility dies. Oh, that's gonna. That is a huge crimp in science vessel production, isn't it? I think you knew that, but my gosh, that's massive. Lurker's top of the ramp. The filer popping out of this Nidus Canal would be pretty good. Look at how active Flash is, though. He's just like, he's trying to expand here. No. Scanning up here. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead here next. Just, you know, no four bases. And 
Flash gets his third base before, you know, the 17 minute mark today, which is nice. Yeah, Lurker's on a ramp when there are fire bats. Not as good. Now look at this, man. This fourth base denial is absolutely killer. There were two drones here. I think Larva assumed this drone died after he for was forced to cancel. Oh, look at these guys hiding. Hiding in the corner. Ling. Okay, well, the third base is entirely undefended. So, Flash got to go for it, man. Lurker's burrowing in. Where are the Defilers? Why is there no Dark Swarm here? Uh, can he hold it? Ling's jumping on. D-Matrix on the Marine. Yeah, Lurker's busting through that. That is a hold. Thank you very much. Every medic dies. And this third base is dying to Mutalisks with no attack upgrades or armor upgrades. Very weird attack there. Yeah, Larva knew his third base, or Flash knew his third base was going to die. And he went for it, trying to take down this natural base, which is a hive. It's a high value target here. Drops in the third. Nidus gets sniped immediately. Drone's got to hide inside the Dark Swarm. I don't think there are any fire bats here. Lurkers. Nice. And dropship dead. Dropship dead? Dropship dead. All right. There's one, mar two Marines back here. Just kidding. They're gone. All right. So fourth base done. Fourth base. Fifth base on the way from Larva now, 12 o'clock. Overlord gets killed. No supply block here on Larva, but dude, Flash is just... He just swarms. He swarms in a way that you don't see from other Terran players, right? This is how elite Zerg players move around the map, right? Swarming everywhere, pushing, prodding, poking, sniping bases that are undefended. It's tough. This is the point of SK Terran is the mobility. It really is more than anything else. Because you can get places fast. So Larva's fourth base is dead again. Stop me if you've heard this one. This group gets wiped out. Thanks to 2-1 Adrenalings and Mutalisks. And Flash is like, all right, what if I try to get my third base down here? Is this a viable strategy? Can I do that? Plague Ooh, does catch a couple of these science vessels. Well, this is the fourth base now. Look at me. I am the fourth base now. But guess who's coming up here to shut it down? That's right. Flashes. Can he get up here? Dark Swarm exists. Lurkers exist. This base is not very secure, but Larva's like, I'd really like a fourth base in this game. Is that allowed? Can I have a fourth base? Is that within the realm of possibility here? This game is crazy good. This whole series has been crazy good. It's a TVZ with Flash and Larva. Come on. You clicked on this for the names more than anything else. <clears throat> oh my gosh, the fourth base is going to die again. Can he save it? Skirt catching a couple science vessels there. Lurkers burrowing in. More lurkers showing up. Larva really does not want. Ow, every mutalist dies, but a bunch of science vessels die too. Does not want this base to die, and he does save it. That's big, but the third base of Flash being up is also ginormous for Flash. We're heavy on the fire bats now. We're in the 20 minute mark. 3 2 upgrades on that bio. Lings. No. No, 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 no. Not with this many fire bats, sir. And as always, fire bats kind of good inside Dark Swarm against Lurkers. And outside of Dark Swarm against Lurkers. Not terrible. Yeah. And can we get up? Can we take down this fourth base again? No. Flash hangs a right. Decides to try to wipe out the third base, but the Nidus is rebuilt and there are lurkers and defilers and all sorts of bad stuff here. So Plague catches both of the science vessels that had been unplagued previously. Oh, two more science vessels show up and get plagued right in the face. Look at this slow Hydra. Get back here. Get back here. I will kill you. No range. 
No speed upgrade. Hilarious. That Hydra is trying to get these guys. Maybe a Hydra down here will take care of it. But Flash says, all right, natural base. Nope. The Nidus allows for shenanigans. Really does. One of the greatest things that Zerg has access to are these Nidus canals, man. It's like recall kind of on steroids a little bit. Yeah, this is absolutely scraptastic. I don't think that Larva knows about this. <gasps> Look who took his third base as a fourth base too. Dude, Flash. Dude, 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 Flash. Oh. Lurkers dying, but they're taking their pound of flesh, man. They are taking Marines with them. Firebats continuing. Oh, they lost their detection. Just kidding. Ow. Dork Swarm. This base dying would be a humongous deal. It is even base count now. Flash is in position to win this game here at 21 minutes. Not sure if anybody else is aware of that. You probably are reading the game along with me here. Tightness plating coming in. Lings being a little more sacrificial than they need to be. Science vessels, three of them have been plagued and are lucky. Okay, now they've all been plagued. Now they've all been plagued. You want to plague on all these medics too. Mm, got it. Got a plague off. Get something. Got a plague off on one medic. Hey, we'll take it. We'll take it over nothing. Every day of the week. Scourge. Okay, science vessels down. Uh, two science vessels left. Both of them plagued within an inch of their lives, which is how plague works. Def I love this defiler right here. What is your plan, sir? Did Flash see this? Yeah, Flash is like, hey, man. Hey, man, says the defiler. Just hanging out. Just having a good time here today. Ultralisks coming in. We saw the chitinous plating. We saw anabolic synthesis. <sighs> Scans does not see a base here. Flash is feeling good about this. He's gotta. He's got to feel good about this. He's on four bases, finally. For the first time today, he's on four bases. He's just got enough comm sats that he's scanning everywhere. Yeah, he's got a dark swarm. Oh, it actually worked, huh? I thought for sure that would go the fire bats way. And you see an ultralisk, you irradiate it. I believe that's how this works. Nice flank attack with the dark swarm and the plate combo. Really, really sick stuff there. Defiler gets more consumes off and plagues more science vessels. Yes. Plagues previously unplagued science vessels, except for these two. These two have avoided the plague. Anabolic synthesis really helps here. Flash is getting a fifth base here. Low ground. Again, terrible place to expand when lurkers exist, and they do in this game. Couple mutas being produced. Gonna just be for poking down science vessels as another one goes down to Scourge. But it's 160 to 114 supply. Flash is up big time. He's trying to keep moving so the medics don't actually drain all of their energy going for that heal. We know how that works. Lings jump on this fifth command center. And then all the Lings die without accomplishing a lot because that's what they do sometimes. Ultralisks come in. Muta's trying to snipe down the science vessels. No. One of them went down, but that was about it. Scraptastic display here. Lurker, Ultralisk, D-Matrix, Adrenal Crackling in the house. It is 3-2 Cracklings here. But Ultra getting focus fired by that many plus three Marines is not going to do very well. Eventually, he will fall. Dude, look at how much stuff there is. 146 to 95 supply for Flash here. This is nuts. Irradiated Ultralisks taking a ton of damage, but dealing a lot of biological damage too. Yeah, this Ultralisk, yeah, has some official kill count, but really should get credit for the Irradiate kill count he's dumping on these Marines as well. Link's try to get into this fifth base. Does not go well. 52 to 50 total uh, workers here. 
Yeah, man. Larva's in trouble. We might be seeing a game five here. I'm trying to see a way that Larva can win this thing. It's going to be Ultras because that is sort of the answer to the SK Terran. It just takes so long to kill the Ultralisks. You can do it, though. You just have to have a lot more stuff than the Zerg player does, which Flash at the moment is kind of rolling with. Yeah, man. One kill on that Ultra before he gets burned down. I think Larva needs to maybe lay a little bit more in store here. Maybe save up four to five to six Ultras before moving out instead of trying to do... He really wants this base to die, I think, though. And Flash is just defending it like an absolute boss. Okay, Dark Swarms getting on this base would be really problematic, though. However, Fire Bats have been replenished. And there you go. Fire Bats get inside the Dark Swarm and do the deed. Excellent stuff. Science Vessel count. Big time. Biggest timest here. Ultras, Lings, another play. Catching two Science Vessels. Another Dark Swarm. Would be incredible, but I don't know if there is one. Yeah, man. Zerg swarming everywhere. An attempt to get a fifth base right sides. Flash has the mind to get some units over here and shut it down. This base, maybe. There's only a couple more places to go if you're Larva. Dude, this Ultra is hurting his friends so much. It is hurting his friends so much. All the Lings are dead. Partially to the Marines and also partially to the Ultra list. Six kills. He might go down. Lings? All right. Lings jump into this. We call it the fourth base. Third base location. Get a couple SCVs. Big death push, I feel like, coming in from Flash right now. 153 to 88 supply. Play. Catching those science vessels again. Defiler. It's irradiated and squished. Lings and Dark Swarm going to temporarily push this back. As they do, more Ultras in production here. Top right base. Flash has enough units to send up there to try to shut that thing down as well. Scourge. One of them. No, both Scourge go down. These Ling wants to engage with this group over here. This right side base, once again, is so important. For Larva, but I don't know how he can save it. The Science Vessels continue to pump out of those starports. 152 to 97 supply. Ultras being produced as fast as gas is being produced to make them. But the Ling Ultra stuff is so fast. Dude, there was an angle to do a lot of damage at this base. Scan sees the Lings heading south. Fire bats inside the bunkers. Gonna be good against the Lings, bad against the Ultras. And this, okay, that's a full liftoff. Irradiates on the Ultralisks, post haste. There we go, got one of them. Flash again marching up this left direction. He holds the right side again. Larva trying to get a fifth base left side. Will he get it? That is the question of the day. And Ultralisk gets inside the mineral line here at this fourth base, fifth base rather, killing a bunch of SCVs. Again, the biological damage plus the tusk damage is big and just pokes in to scout this base. That is so good from Flash here. He is just everywhere. He hasn't lost a base yet. Lifting that one kind of sucks for him. He's down 47 to 40 workers, which Larva minor respite for him at this stage of the game. D-Matrix on a fire bat on the verge of death. A little bit tricky if you're the Terran player in that situation. 107 to 156 supply. Marva. This cannot be the first time he found out about this base. He has to know that base exists. Larva takes the right side, 3 o'clock. It belongs to the Zerg, at least temporarily. And then guess who's marching into the left side, 5th base of Larva? Yeah, Flash is. Flash is like, you don't get this base. This is not how this works. This is not the state of things, sir. But, oh my gosh, 3-3 three, three cracklings are just... They chew, 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 choose you. 
They chew through your skull, science vessel. Remember what I said about science vessel count and SK Terran and Flash. It's a big, big, big thing. It, what? It's the key to this whole deal. Larva making a bit of a drone transfer over to this base. Can he keep these drones alive is a larger question. As a group of white is swinging up down here trying to shut it down. Where are the plagues? Where are the dark swarms? The ultras are getting irradiated way before they even start to engage with the Terran army. They're so hurt before anything even happens here. And the larva, his macro is insane. This group's in trouble. Lings roll down to shut this base down, but okay, Lings roll down to save this base. Firebat inside the mineral line. Firebat funneling, and that's it, man. Larva taps out. Taps out, and that is a 2 2 situation for Larva and Flash. Flash gets the win in game four and does force a game five here. Holy smokes, that was an amazing game from Flash. Yeah, I think the trick was this base. <laughs> I think he snuck it. I'm really fairly sure that Larva did not know about this thing until way after it was established. That allows him to get this base faster. His production is insane. And then just making sure that Larva never gets a fifth base. Right? He gets four bases. The fourth base was delayed a whole lot here too. But at the end of the day, what it comes down to is no fifth base for the Zerg and five bases for the Terran. It's pretty basic math, right? So SK Terran gets the win here. The Ultras, the Lings, there were just never quite critical numbers of them. The Dark Swarms and the Plagues kind of fell off towards the end there. There just wasn't enough gas to support Ultralisks and Defilers towards the end. And Flash gets the win. Man, that was awesome. That was fantastic. And we do get a game five. 217,000 to 209,000 points. Larva outproduced Flash eight to five here. It's a six to four kill ratio though. So, uh, yep. It's close. Resources are the big deal though, again, as always, right? Yeah, and that is an outspend by about 6,000 resources, but in 30 minutes, just not quite enough. Just not quite enough to get that, so. GG, man. That was... Ooh, that was good. That was such, such a good Game 4. And now we've got Game 5. Game 5 is next. Are you hyped for that? I am. Let's take a look and see who's going to win this best of 5 between Flash and Larva. Game 5. Best of 5. Here on Eclipse. Top right, going to be Flash. He's orange. Actually... Oh, we're going to do that. Bottom left is going to be Larva. Super dark blue. Woo! This series has been amazing. So, 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 so good. Man. All right. So, does Flash do mech this time? Does he open two port Wraith? Or is he just going to settle on doing SK Terran again, man? So much production for SK Terran. So many science vessels. So much irradiate. So much mobility. Flash makes it look so good, doesn't he? That's why he's Flash. Woo! Hope you're all having a good day watching this one. I am, man. I am just over the moon at how about how good this series has been. I really am. So this is Eclipse. It's the nicer version of Third World, right? Third World. Uh, is a map where you can't access the top portion of the map up here unless you're a worker or unless you can fly or be dropped by a shuttle or a dropship or something, right? Okay. All right. Extractor trick. Pool first in here at about nine supply. This is early ling pressure in the future here from Flash, but he didn't, I mean, nothing he hasn't dealt with before. Terry, the overlord on the scout, says, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? And I guess a quick plug for PayPal. I'm out at PayPal at falconpaladin at gmail.com. If you want to send me like a one-time donation, don't have to worry about recurring stuff like at patreon.com slash falconpaladin or joining the channel here either by clicking the join button down below, which is a monthly thing for as little as two bucks a month. Uh, some people do like PayPal that reason for that reason because it's a one-time donation. Don't have to worry about showing up on your bank statement <laughs> like five months later, and you're like, "What is this?" 
Uh, it's just a one-timer, and then it goes away. So, yeah, falconpowder at gmail.com for PayPal if you want to support me that way. Steve the SCV comes in and says, what's what? Oh, a million lings. Of course. Run! Boost away with your jet pack. Yeah, this is... I don't even know if this bunker is going to really make that much of a difference. This really, to me, feels like pull some SCVs on the ramp, get Marines behind it, but... Flash is Flash, and if Flash says this bunker can be enough, yeah, he's pulling some SCVs too. Positioning the SCVs. Mm, and another Marine gets inside that bunker. That's great. Guess who's double expanding behind this? Larva is. Ah, you beast. You beast of a man. I like it. I like it a lot. I do this sometimes in StarCraft. I'll go pool first, make six lings, and then expand behind it, but I don't know. I think it takes a lot of bravery to go for a fast third base there, right? Because you don't know. I mean, I guess you do know. There can't be that many Marines on the way. Yeah, these guys just being like, what's up? We're just going to make sure any Marines that come across the map, we know about them before they show up at the natural base, because getting surprised is bad. Two racks in it. Gas up. Academy on the way. Everything is good from Flash. Got enough gas saved up here to go for... Boo -boo, the stim pack. Lair. Did he just cancel Metabolic Boost? Am I crazy or was Metabolic Boost up there? Lings, I need you to run real quick. See, the nice thing about StarCraft 2 is when you get speed, they get wings on their back so you can tell they have speed. Oh, here we go. No. Where did the jigger jigger? I, okay. I swear I saw metabolic boost there. <laughs> it was on the way, and then it disappeared, but then he didn't. I don't know. Hey, I'm seeing things. I'm casting this at 11 p.m., so, uh. Tough. Fire bats on the way. And this is Flash. Oh, he killed an overlord. I don't know when he killed an overlord, but that's a supply block. Unless it was like a double extractor trick, triple extractor trick thing. Okay, and for the first time today, sunkens are being made in response to this marine push out by Flash. Larva's like, yo, here's the deal. We're actually going to get sunkens out this time. Range upgrade coming in. Stim is done. You don't want to stim too early. Two sunkens being going to be good enough here. Three sunkens if this was later and this was a bigger push. But dude, this third base. Sunken on the high ground. Bit of a ramp and a choke you have to go through. There's Ling supporting this. Uh, I don't know about this from Flash. SCV comes up to see what's up. Dies while getting the intel. And Flash says... Ah, I don't like it. I don't like what I see here at all. As well, you shouldn't. And like I said, a little bit later on the push, with more stuff, three sunkens are what you want. And we don't have that yet. So stim, and here we come. I'm marching right on in. Lings, trying to force them back while the sunkens go ka-chunk, ka-chunk, ka-chunk. On these Marines. A lot of Lings died there, but a lot of Marines and Firebats did too. These Zerglings sharking out. Maybe going for a counter track attack. Trying to pick off reinforcements that are coming across the map here from Flash 2. Where's the second base? There isn't one. This is a two-base opener. Very, pretty strong, and Larva has survived it quite nicely. So, I'm on board. I'm on board with this. This is a good opening from Larva again. I feel like Larva does have good openings. Just a matter of when Flash gets the machine rolling. That's when bad things happen. Engineering Bay coming in. He's worried about mutas, and he should be because there's a spire on the way. Ah, the two sunken rule. No lings to support, though. Drones have to fight. Wow, the sunken is pouring damage in. Lings a little bit late to the party. Drones died, but could have been worse. Could have definitely been worse here. 
No, you don't get healed by your medics, and now the medics can only heal themselves, and that's not going to work. This group does shut down the lings, but there's only two of them, and finally expanding back home now is Flash. Here at seven minutes, two base, stim range, medic, fire bat, one base timing, and Larva withstood it with all of his bases alive. He lost some drones, but that's okay. He kept the hatcheries alive. That's what matters here is the production. Ling's trying to go for a bit of a run by just to scout in. He does see the second command center, and that's about all the information he's going to get as <laughs> there is no escape for the scouting Lings that went that deep into enemy territory. Mutalisks in production. Ooh, and getting a carapace upgrade this time. Okay, okay. Larva's production's good. Larva's mutalisks are coming out. But hey, if you've got a bunch of marines and missile turrets, you should be okay against these mutas. Really, the most effective we've seen these mutas today is when the turrets were late. But at this point in time, three turrets finishing up now. And yeah, maybe a couple SCVs will die, but mutas are going to die. And the carapace upgrade will help them not die if they can stay alive until that happens. Let's see the timing on the queen's nest here. Larva... A little bit later, he did have to make more stuff to deal with the one base aggressive opener out of Flash in fairness. So his the timing on Tech's going to be later as a result. Scan on the third base. He's one sunken there. Third gas is rocking and rolling. There's your Queen's Nest coming up. Trying to get to that hive. Not as fast as we've seen in previous games, but again, it's a different game. Your dive timing cannot be the same time every time, especially if you're dealing with Flash. Fourth base coming up at about a 5 o'clock position. This, I think, qualifies as a ninja. This is a little bit far away. A more traditional place would be here to expand. But I think Larva's hoping that Flash doesn't know about this. I think that's probably the idea behind it. It's so hard to determine who knows about what at what time, you know? I guess if we can get a scan... That we hear from Flash when we check and he scans that location, then yeah, he knows about that base. Nope, he scanned here this time. You does that. I mean, really? I was going to say, you don't really want to engage until that carapace upgrade is done because you spent so much time and energy and resources on the carapace upgrade. But hey, coming in here anyway is fine business. You does darting around. Turret shots are consistent. And ow, several mutas died without knowing the sweet, sweet embrace of the Flyer Carapace upgrade. Hives on the way about 10 minutes from Larva. Not like it's crazy late or anything. And the first science vessels are in production now from Flash. His baby, baby science vessels that make this whole thing work. Another scan inside the main. Sees a Hydra Den. A later Hydra Den. Ling Muta. Really just kind of keeping everything alive through the first 10 minutes of the game anyway. Radiate getting research. There we go. Three SCVs for three volleys. Not bad. 46 to 42 workers in favor of Larva. That's good news. If you are a Zerg fan right now, that worker count is nice. Larva working on Lurker Aspect. Probably going to throw up a defile around with this guy. Because your hive is done. So it's time. And it is. Nice. Adrenal probably next once he has enough minerals for that. He's got a ton of gas. He's sitting on a thousand gas. Still double scan, second and third base. I don't think he knows. I don't think he knows about that fourth base of larvas. That's so big for larva. Irradiate. Good. Perfect split. That's a 10 out of 10 split, viewers. Carapace upgrade helping, but, I mean, it doesn't make your guys invulnerable, unfortunately. Yeah, I really think that Flash would be making a beeline for this base. Where are Nidus Canals? He's got a Nidus Canal, this base. Maybe even this one, too? Extra creeps coming up at the third. He knows this is a big push-out from Flash. 
These Marines are doing what they can. Okay, reducing the medic. Okay, three medics. And a Marine for four volleys. Split, 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 split. Okay, that was like a B split. Not an A split, but sometimes can't be perfect, you know? Ooh, more scans. He does! He, scan he sees it now. Is he heading this way? He's sending some medics this way, which seems wrong. Flash, yeah, pulls them back. <laughs> Gonna send two medics into their deaths, get it eaten by those sunkens for no reason at all. A lower level Terran player would have just let that happen. They would have accidentally sent those medics down there and then they would have died. And where'd those medics go? I had a couple more. Adrenal, Ultralist Cavern. Larva likes the Ultras. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. It's the nature of StarCraft, man. The supply block is brutal, by the way. Science vessel, one gets scourged down. This Marine escapes with all of 14 HP to his name. And never mind, he's dead. The supply block for Larva was temporary and okay. Consume is almost done. And once again, we find ourselves in a position where Flash is showing up right before Consume is finishing. This has to be on purpose. This has to be him scanning in, seeing the Defiler Mound timing, and then timing something to where consume is not quite done when he shows up look at this not oh my gosh that was bait look at this bait he's baiting the science vessels into the scourge and then just close enough that they want to go for it and then he pulls him back and the marines snipe him down that is just mean that is so 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 good so good dark swarm mm, one connection out of like four there not good Drop ships in the mix. We know how powerful drops have been in this game for Flash, or the series for Flash. Dude, a humongous drop anywhere would be good. There are Scourge. There are, okay, one drop ship. Okay, one drop ship straight up dies. He's just spreading his guys all around inside the main base. Ling's running in to deal with this. Marines, maybe gonna focus down the Fire? That'd be pretty good, but I don't know if they have enough time for that. Drones pulling back. Dark Swarm keeping them alive as they evac here. Still about 51 drones out. Flash is being so annoying behind this mineral line. Oh, this is so frustrating to deal with. All of the mining inside the main base has stopped. But I still... Ow. Okay, so this vessel's getting whacked there. Flash's attention was elsewhere for just a second. Play getting research. Kitness plating on the way. Further attack upgrades. Skirt. Oh, that connection was mean. Oh, that's a GG. Flash taps out Larva. Whoa. Wins the best of five and a bit of an abrupt ending there. Uh, I mean, look, it's a two basing Flash versus a four basing Larva and Flash knows that, right? He knows. He came in for a drop in the main, hoping to take down maybe the whole thing, maybe just a spire, maybe kill a bunch of drones. That didn't really happen. Didn't accomplish the goals he needed to. Lost all the science vessels he had inside the main base. Uh, ultras with two armor against a total of five marines. Two ultras are going to take these marines down, even with medic support, unless the medics do some really nice walling off here, right? So the ultras pathing gets messed up and they can't quite attack them. Yeah, it was kind of a last-ditch drop effort there from Flash to be like, all right, he snuck a fourth base on me. I didn't see it until it was too late. Let's try to kill him. And he failed, and Larva comes out on top 3-2 to two in this best of five. Holy smokes. Was that something? My goodness. I just absolutely just an epic level best of five TVZ Larva Flash series. I don't know how else to categorize it. I'm going to epic tag this thing. RJB has just been on fire sending me replays recently. This has been so fun. And as usual, I won't post anything tomorrow because this game took up so much time for me and for you. So, um, hope you enjoyed it. There's nothing posting Tuesday, but, uh, yeah, it's amazing how many, two different times in the series we had snuck bases be the difference between winning and losing. 
And after I talk so much about how scouting is vital and constant at this level of StarCraft, sometimes you can slip something past somebody even as good as Flashes, you know? Sometimes you can. Yeah, and the attack on the third base was huge, too, for Larva. He knew he had to get drones involved. He knew he could afford to lose some drones and win anyway because he got this fourth base up. Right? The whole goal is keeping the third base alive. If Flash had killed this hatch, much different game. Much, much, much different game. It never really got super close to going after the natural, and the main base attack was kind of lackluster too, but the, the attack on the third and the defense there by Larva was really what won this thing for him. The sneak in fourth and the defense of the third. That's my analysis. GG, man. Larva gets the win, but dude, did Flash ever play so well today. 68,000 to 57,000 points. Outproducing the Terran, getting out, killed by the Terran by similar numbers. This was one of those GGs that was more about the future, right? It was more about, I have two bases and my enemy has four. It's just a tough position to be in no matter who you are, right? No matter what your situation is. Uh, outspending Flash by about 1,800 resources in 15 minutes. Not the greatest, but again, this was about the future. So there you go. GG, man. What a great best of five. That was so fun to cast. I am whew, a little bit run down here. That was super hype. And I hope you enjoyed it too. So that's going to be it for me today. This has been Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft Brood War Remastered. Go ahead. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe if you like what you saw what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, Patreon, Twitch. All at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching. You take care of yourself.